Wow. <laughs> okay, no, no, all right. Focus, focus. Be serious. Just a little, um, not a channel update, just content update, I guess. Yeah, well, and some other rambles. So this is um, VSC View, which I have covered in the past, and I made this theme myself, not toot my own horn, but <laughs> just stating. I made this profile, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It looks nice, but mainly, you know, I just uh, updated it and immediately had somebody notice, so that was nice. But that got me thinking, like, he actually recommended, you know, hey, you should uh, probably put a link to that new one if you're sharing it, and that's a good idea, and I should also let you know if you folks liked it and wanted to use it. I put a link to the older theme before, and I basically, that, that link still applies, and I will put that in this video description. The link is here. This was the old one, and this is the new one. So you can grab both of them, have VSC View installed, which is the program that runs this, and then just dump it into the theme folder. And uh, not necessarily just to use mine, but I wanted to share this too because I had tweaked, I tweaked the uh, all JSON, well, I, actually I tweaked both. I tweaked the JSON files so the placement of the elements is a little different, like the paddles, the grips, the triggers, uh, like let's switch back to the default. So you can see how this is, the bumpers are way up there, trigger, full pull, the grips are up there too. I did it just felt too busy to me, so I wanted to condense it all down. Yeah, so the grips are down here, bumpers are about where you would expect. And then just the triggers are up a little higher, so you can see the the percentage slider. And you can uh, you know just open up these PNGs in you know in any image editor and change them around however you want. That's really where I started. I just opened up this base PNG like this is 629 by 605, 629 by 605. Like I kept the placement all the same. I just gave it empty space up top. You know, as I mentioned, the link will be in the description. The link to the older YouTube video I did is always in my video descriptions. But also, I feel like this is just something that's come up before in the past. This kind of gets lost in the shuffle. If you're looking for my profiles and you're frustrated that it's not something I can control, YouTube will not allow the links to these, to the profiles, to be clickable. But in Discord, they're completely clickable. And the link to my Discord is in every one of my video descriptions. So you can click on that, join the Discord, and then look through here, you know, at all the profiles I've publicly shared. And I always update this whenever I put out, like, uh, I just did that video on Vulcanoids, I put it there. So I could click on it, load up the profile, and then I just edited down here my VSC views. That will take you to this so you can grab the folders. And then I don't really use these anymore, but I kept, you know, all the uh, all the custom icons I made. I've put links to those if you want want them for anything. I'm personally trying to move away from uh, custom icons just because it's a burden to the user. But yeah, this VSC view has kind of been a lifesaver for me because I used to green screen the controller, and that's just a giant pain in the ass to get. The lighting right and then I have to worry about keeping my hands in frame so I'm not using the gyro as much because I'm trying to you know desperately keep my hands in the camera frame but whatever so all right that's it I will see you around